asteroid danger. Neil deGrasse Tyson warns of Harbinger of Doom space rock threat. This is uh, by Spass and Kelly on Express UK. Astrophysicists. A famous Neil deGrasse Tyson warning of Harbinger of Doom asteroids threatening to wipe out life on Earth as we know it. We've been hit by asteroids many times in the past. We're now having a perceived shower, and uh, we have uh, shooting stars just about every single night for the whole month of August. If you're in an area that doesn't have too many city lights, you could enjoy that. And uh, one of them recently hit uh, Tunguska over Russia, over Siberia. That was devastating. Now, asteroids and meteors of all shapes and sizes are flying past Earth nearly daily basis. NASA estimates hundreds of tons of space debris and rocks safely pelt our planet and enter our atmosphere every single day. Larger car-sized asteroids are said to strike our planet roughly once a year, causing small amounts of localized damage. The real threat comes from asteroids many miles wide, which astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson said could of course mean an end of for humanity. Dr. Tyson, 60 years old, head of the Hayden Planetarium in New York City, the American Museum of Natural History, and host of the Star Talk Science Podcast. In a recent episode titled Cosmic Queries, Asteroids and Comets, he discussed the threat of giant asteroids heading for our Earth. The episode explored possibility of asteroid strikes, strikes that took place billions of years ago and brought to a young Earth a building block of life. podcast was published July 25th, a few days ago. It featured guest appearance from science author and cosmochemist Natalie Starkey. And Dr. Tyson said, it's an intriguing and underappreciated fact that asteroids and comets may have been the bringers of life, if not the ingredients of life, but perhaps even life itself. Well, we know that comets, a lot of them have ice, and a lot of that ice, of course, could have melted as water on Earth, for example. Asteroid facts say, NASA estimates a football field size asteroid collides with our planet once every 2,000 years or so. A car-sized asteroid hits Earth on average at least once a year. Some of the bigger space rocks in the asteroid belt can be as large as 583 miles across. That's like a small planet, right? And as icy comets fly around the solar system, their outer layers sublimate in the sun's heat, leaving behind the glowing tail that we see. So he goes to say, and yet they can also serve as harbingers of doom for the very life that they brought to our planet, end quote. For example, when a huge asteroid struck our Earth in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico about 65 million years ago, the force of that impact ended the dinosaur's uh, existence on Earth, also caused geological havoc, tsunamis, uh, volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and you can imagine. Now, the so-called Chicxulub asteroid crater the asteroid hit during the Cretaceous Tertiary period in what is today the Yucatan Peninsula in western Mexico. And it left behind a 111 mile wide, 180 kilometer, 12 mile deep, 20 kilometer crater. 111 mile wide and 20 kilometer, uh, uh, 12 mile deep. The killer impact. That killer asteroid believed to have triggered the global nuclear winter, wiping out the dinosaurs and many other animal extinctions, of course. Dr. Starkey answered questions from the Star Trek audience, Star Talk audience, sorry, and warned of future impacts on this scale could, of course, end humanity as we know it. And she said, we may have only got here because of comets and asteroids and actually in the future, we may die off because of comets and asteroids. They could collide with us and, you know, devastate all of humanity. So she goes on to say, so what I understand, I want to understand these objects for many reasons, because 
of how we got here, but also to protect us in the future. We need to understand that these things are made of, what they're made of, and what their orbits are, the understanding, so many details that we can protect our planet. I think everyone should be concerned about this, but not worried. I don't think we need to be worried that tomorrow we're going to die uh, in an asteroid impact, although it could happen. Now, according to NASA, an asteroid large enough to threaten human civilization happens about once every few million years. At this point, there is no known asteroids or comets heading directly for Earth. Well, um, directly, what does that mean? Uh, it could be heading for us to skim us, but not directly a 90% uh, impact, 90 degree impact. We do have Apophis coming in about 10 years, the first approach. If you remember, they had a, an asteroid strike drill at the end of uh, April. It's about a 10-day thing. It happens every two years. And uh, it's a desktop exercise where people get together from various countries and various agencies. Uh, we like the uh, space agencies, the FEMA agencies, and the local, uh, local politicians local officials to find out how they can stop an asteroid from striking a certain location. This one was supposed to have uh, come in towards Delaware and they mitigated it. Somehow they supposedly struck it with a nuke. But the uh, exercise was a failure because a piece of that asteroid in the exercise drill was cut off and hit New York City. So that was a failure. And up to now all of these drills have been failures. But anyway, what can you say? They've got to do something. Um, they're trying to do uh, an asteroid approach to the twin Didymus uh, asteroids to try and mitigate, try and push it out of its uh, orbit. To try and push it out of its orbit to see if they'll be successful in doing that. Uh, so anyway, they've got to do something. Okay, I'll leave links below for you for this because... Um, the thing is, though, if you can catch them, if you can see them coming. The one that struck Chelyabinsk uh, a few years ago was not seen coming. They said they couldn't see because it was coming out from behind the sun. And uh, it was not easy for anyone to pick it up because of the blinding rays of the sun. I'll leave links below for you for this. Now, according to Space Weather, today's update, August 3rd, the uh, reported... All Sky Fireball Network reported 35 fireballs directed towards Earth. The NASA All Sky cameras scanned the skies above the United States for meteoric fireballs. Automated software maintained by NASA's Meteoroid Environmental Office calculates their orbits and velocities, penetration depth in Earth's atmosphere, and other characteristics. And there are daily results presented on here on Space Weather. 35 fireballs. All the fireballs orbits intersect at a single point, meaning that it's Earth. Very strange, isn't it, that they all intersect at Earth. And also we had near-Earth asteroids, potential hazardous asteroids, the space rocks larger than about 300 feet that come close to Earth, closer than uh, 0 0.05 AU. None of the known PHAs is on a collision course with our planet, although astronomers are finding new ones all the time. As of August 3rd, there are 1,983 potentially hazardous asteroids. The next one is to be coming at us at around August 28th, considered dangerous, at a uh, missed distance of 2.7 lunar distances. Diameter is about 300 feet across. This is according to space weather. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever 
I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.